Hi guys, um, today is the leg workout for a hit, and it's Pilates inspired, so you get to lay down and you can be on your mat. So, the first exercise we're gonna do, I have my rainbow socks on. It's gray outside, so we needed a rainbow. But anyway, um, so what we're going to do for our first exercise, and these are gonna be side lying, and what I think you should do which I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do everything on just one side so that you have to redo the whole thing to get the other side in. All right, so the first exercise we're going to do, you're going to bend the knees so your legs are stacked and you're gonna to touch the toes together and then the knees together. So in Pilates, a lot of the work that you do is gonna be strengthening the hips, which is part of your core. And by having stronger hips, it's going to make everything you do just a lot better. And um, lunges and squats are amazing, some of the best exercises you can do, but a lot of this, um, a lot of this kind of re rehabilitative work will help build the muscles around the hip and make it um, stronger. The other one you're going to do, which also will still do the same, um, is leg circles. So your leg's going to be straight and you're going to draw a circle all the way around. Now, you want to make sure that the rest of your body is staying anchored. So you're not moving a lot with this, like this. That's pretty dramatic. You want to make sure that the rest of your body stays anchored and you're just moving the leg. And you're only making that leg make circles as big as you're able to keep the leg straight. So if you need to make smaller circles, go for it. Okay? After, uh, on each one, we'll reverse. So we'll go toward the face the first time and then go toward the back of the head on your second round. Okay? So let's go ahead. I have it set up here. Let's get started. Okay, so in five seconds, bending the knee and tap. And that has turned way down. That's what happens when I'm less. <laughs> okay, that was special. Keep going. Hopefully you were doing it better than I was while I was messing with my volume. So just touching toes and the knees, toes and the knees. You'll start to feel a little burn. There you go. Straighten those legs out. Still in that side lying position. Ready? You can bring your hand in front to support you here. And we're gonna go all the way around. I'm so good that glad that you can't see details because it was snowy today, and so my kids were tracking in wet, snowy stuff. And I can see awesome spots all over my floor. So don't zoom in. Okay, you're gonna start to fill this, and oh, whew, all right. So bend the knees, stacking in the legs. When you're doing those big leg circles, you'll feel your core engage a lot, and that's what you want too. So it'll be part of it. So toes and knees. Oh my goodness, we are gonna feel some burn. Do this. Try it out. You know it looks all simple. That's the fun thing about Pilates, is it looks really graceful and simple, but it works to you from such a solid, like, inner place that you get quite the workout. So we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go toward the back of the head now. So all the way around. Here we go. Full breath on each circle, keeping that leg as straight as you can. The rest of your body is anchored. Boy, I better make time for my other leg. <laughs> I'm gonna be super lopsided when I teach bar tonight. And you wanna to try to do one full breath on each circle. So you'll inhale for half of the circle and exhale for half. So again, tapping toes and the knees. Are you ready? So toes and the knees. Oh, it's a little harder to keep that leg elevated this time. Oh, we are burning out. The other thing about Pilates, if you actually took a Pilates class, is you're not ever going to do this amount of things. Oh my gosh, it burns. Um, you'll do like six to eight of each exercise, which is great because all of them will work some similar muscles. And so you'll still get a really excellent workout. But if you're a little ADD like I am, then it's really nice because you get to move on. So you'll do like maybe 10 or 12 abdominal exercises in a row, and you'll do like six sets of each. <sighs> if I 
like with this leg work, this would never happen. That's why it's called Pilates inspired. <laughs> you wouldn't actually probably do this in a real Pilates class. Um, okay, one more set of each. We are burning out. Okay, ready? Touching toes and then knees. Woo. Keep it going. My cat is sulking. She's sitting behind the camera with her ears back. She came and tried to rip up my mat a little bit because I have to move her chair so that I have space. Oh my gosh, this burns. <laughs> okay, going toward the back of my head now. Ready? Taking that leg up, nice and straight. And all the way around. Full big breath. And <laughs> okay, so remember you have to restart this video and do the whole thing over again on your other side. Otherwise, you are going to be so lopsided. Nice job. Just stretch this out afterwards. Just bring your leg in front, roll over your ankles just above your knee, and you're going to pull your leg in to open up your hips. Hi. <laughs> this is precious. She is probably gonna come and attack my mat again because she's mad at me. <laughs> All right, so that was it. I'm gonna take the day off tomorrow. Um, we would normally be doing cardio, Pilates cardio, um, but we will wait and we will do that instead. We'll do it um, on Friday. So I will see you on Friday. Remember to redo the whole video for the other side. Bye.